All right, here begins an incomplete review of Unit H on harmonic motion for the test on Monday. All right, so um, let's start out with just your basic equation, one of the basic equations for simple harmonic motion, and that is um, x, the position from equilibrium, is equal to 5 meters times the cosine of 2t. Um, first question, can you tell me what the amplitude of this motion will be? Okay, the amplitude will be 5 meters. Okay, would you be able to tell me what the period of this motion will be? What will be the period of this motion? Okay, the period of this motion is related to the 2 here because um, this 2 is omega since it's a cosine omega t. So if omega is equal to 2, well, that's equal to 2 pi over the period. You might get the formula sheet that's now on the wikis to, to help you through this review. Okay, so that means the period, if I switch the t with the 2, looks like the period is about pi seconds. Okay, could you tell me what the um, frequency of this motion is? Yeah, the frequency is 1 over the period, so it would be 1 over pi hertz. All right. Um, would you be able to tell me um, how f the, the maximum speed that this, that this object is going to go in its motion? What is the maximum speed, V max? Go ahead and pause. Okay, the maximum speed... Um, when you take the derivative of this, you're going to get 5 meters times 2. It's going to be a omega sine omega t um, with a negative sign there. So the maximum speed is a omega. And so that would be um, 5 meters times 2 radians per second. That gives you... 10 meters per second. That's as fast as it's going to go. It's not going to get any faster than that. Okay, would you be able to tell me um, what the maximum acceleration is going to be for this motion? What would be the maximum acceleration? Go ahead and pause. Okay, the maximum acceleration, since V is the derivative of this, so that would be, that would be uh, 10 negative 10, I won't use units for this, it's going to be negative 10 sine 2t, and a will be, bring, bring the 2 out again, it's going to be negative 20 cosine omega t, cosine 2t, so that means the maximum acceleration, a max, will be 20 meters per second squared. Okay, um, if you have an equation like this, A equals negative 100 over seconds squared times X, or another way of writing this is uh, the second derivative of X with respect to time. If that's equal to negative 100 seconds to the negative 2 times X, then can you tell me um, what the period of this motion is? Go ahead and pause and see if you can figure that out. Okay, well, um, it turns out that this is omega squared. So that's, that's um, anytime you have a simple harmonic motion, the A is related to the X in that it's directly proportional to X, but it's in the opposite direction, and the constant that makes an, an equation is going to be omega squared. So omega squared is equal to um, 100 over second squared. That's the same thing as saying 100 hertz squared. Okay, so the omega is going to be 10 hertz. Um, 
And so that's the angular frequency. That's really radians per second there. So the period, which is equal to um, 2 pi over omega, is going to be 0.2 pi seconds. That's what the period will be. Okay. Um, first of all, my first question on this, this object, the position vectors for the X position is um, looking like this, two meters cosine of eight um, seconds to the negative one times T. And the Y position is two meters times the sine of eight seconds to the negative one times T. Um, first of all, what type of motion does this describe? It describes um, circular motion. This is the X component of the circular motion. This is the Y component. And if you went and graphed this in your calculator, it would make a, a perfect circle. Okay, would you be able to tell me, uh, this actually describes uniform circular motion. The object is moving around at a constant, with a constant speed. Okay, could you tell me uh, what the radius of this motion would be? It would be two meters. Uh, could you tell me what the speed of this motion would be? What's the speed that this motion would have? Okay, that is going to be, um, if you um, take the, the first derivative of this, this will give you the speed in the x direction. And the maximum speed in the x direction is is equal to the speed of the thing, because when this is um, when the speed is completely in the x direction, it has no speed in the y. When it has no speed in the y and all its speed is in the x, that that v max in the x is the speed of the thing as it's moving in circular motion. So that would be um, eight times two is sixteen meters per second. Can you tell me what the acceleration of this object that's moving in circular motion would be? Okay, again, um, when it's maxed out in the x direction, there is no acceleration in the y. So like if this is the object right here, when uh, well, let's put it right here. Right here, it might be maxed out in the x direction. So look at the acceleration in the y, it's zero. So when this is zero, this is at its max, which is the centripetal acceleration. So the centripetal acceleration would be eight times, well, it's, it's going to be a omega squared. So two times this squared. So that's 64 times two is 128 uh, meters per second squared. That will be the acceleration of this object. Okay. So that's for circular motion. Okay, moving right along. Uh, last question, set of questions here. For this, for this part at least. Okay. Uh, there are four different equations that you can use for the position as something is moving in simple harmonic motion. So it just depends on the initial conditions. So let's um, start with um, a system that looks like this. For this first system, we're going to start it here. That's where I'm going to start the watch when this is all the way over here. It's going to oscillate back and forth on this spring with a mass m. This is this has spring constant k. Um, which of these would I use then for for this? A, B, C, or D? And the answer is, I would use this one because the graph of this function looks like this, with where it's starting at negative a. So that is the graph of that function. Okay, uh, I'll I'll continue these questions on the next one. See you in a bit.